Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're with Callaway this afternoon in Orlando, Florida. It's a 2018 PGA Merchandise Show. We're talking with Dave Neville. Dave, good to see you. Good to see you, Chris. We are going to talk right now about the new Rogue Driver. Three models in the Rogue. Now, obviously, you've got some big shoes to fill. Epic was huge for you guys in 2017. Tell us about Rogue and why players are going to love this this year. Like you said, Epic was huge. It was the number one selling driver every single month in 2017. People say, how are you going to top Epic? And they really were expecting us to come out with another version of XR. And, and we could have done that, something without jailbreak, you know, maybe all titanium. But truthfully, that would have gotten crushed by Epic. Would have gotten crushed in the marketplace and also in the fitting bay as well. So we've gone rogue. We're doing something different. We're bringing out a whole new line. This doesn't replace Epic, but what it has is a new jailbreak technology, an hourglass jailbreak technology. And we're combining that with a new face technology, which is an X-Face VFT for what we call a jailbreak effect. So it's giving you that added ball speed. So if you can believe this, more ball speed than Epic with a lot more forgiveness. Wow, and I know uh, some of, part of the forgiveness is you got a little bit bigger footprint in this than Epic. Correct. Yes, yeah, so the standard is the largest carbon crown we've ever had in a driver. So it is a bigger footprint. First of all, when you set it down, it looks extremely easy to hit, and it is. You know, it has an MOI over 8600, which is way up there. You know, higher MOI than our old Fusion driver, which is a triangular shape, but in a player's type of shape. Still 460 cc, just like Epic, but it's positioned in a different way to give it that more of a stretch shape, easy to hit, high MOI, but with jailbreak technology as well. And the jailbreak, I know with the, the titanium rods this year, they're a little bit lighter, a little different shape. What does that do in terms of performance for the driver? 25% lighter in an hourglass type of shape. They're ti two titanium bars, so we're saving that weight. The weight is repositioned. The other thing that the jailbreak bars do is they make the body even stiffer, and that allowed us to have a new face technology because, candidly, w with Epic, we spent so much time on getting jailbreak right, we weren't able to really optimize the face. It had the same face as the Great Big Bertha. Right now, we have an all-new X-Face VFT with this, so that's really what we're calling jailbreak effect is the combination of jailbreak and the face technology as well. Gotcha, and for those who maybe need a refresher, made the mistake in not checking out Epic last year. What the jailbreak does is it connects, the bars connect the crown and the sole and helps maximize that energy transfer impact. Absolutely, uh, you got it. It makes the body stiffer, which allows us to make the face more flexible and you get more ball speed. Yeah, and as we said at this top, three models this year as yes. opposed to two and some changes. The standard Rogue as opposed to Epic no longer has the sliding weight, has a fixed weight in the back. Yes. So one thing that we noticed with the, the Epic and the sliding weight, a lot of people, like 75% of the players, were moving it into the full draw position. And that was great, but they were losing some MOI. So they're losing some forgiveness when they move that, that weight to the draw position. So we want to have a dedicated draw model that would be higher MOI than the Epic in the draw position, but have even more draw bias. So it's got about 10 yards more draw bias than the Epic in the full draw position and 20 yards more draw bias than the Rogue standard. And the Sub-Zero, similar setup to last year, two weights that players can adjust to sort of control launch and spin. Absolutely, I mean, the Epic Sub-Zero was a true paradigm shift for us. It was a high MOI, super low spin driver. We had never had that before. So we have a similar formula with the Rogue Sub-Zero as well. It's a little bit lower spinning than, than the Epic model. We have a two gram and a 14 gram weight, which are interchangeable so that you can change, you can tweak the spin on it, but very, very similar to the Epic Sub-Zero with a little bit less spin. So is, with this, uh, the Rogue Sub-Zero compared to Epic, is this more just for the better player or is this still going to suit It's any? still going to suit a ton of players. And there's a lot of players that struggle with the spin. They spin and they spin their driver over 3,000 RPM. Well, this is going to spin about five to 600 RPM less than the standard model. So that could get you into that window that we want you to be in, 2,400 RPM, 2,200, right in that window for the ideal launch conditions. And we're obviously early in the 2018 calendar for the pros, but I know the adoption and excitement among your tour players has been off the chart. It's been huge. People said nobody's going to switch out Epic. Well, they did. They went They went into Rogue. We recently had uh, Sergio. We signed Sergio Garcia. First week putting Rogue into play, he wins the Singapore Open. So that was huge for us. He had both the Sub-Zero driver in play. He had a, a standard Rogue fairway wood and a Rogue Sub-Zero five wood as well. Wow. Dave, that's great information. We appreciate it. Good to be with you, Chris. Thanks.